hello everyone thanks for coming out here i really do appreciate you all right now um it's been alleged that the lawmakers they are carrying out some unbelievable acts i'll call it a shameful act as well and um, they are signing documents signing documents with the chinese government in an unknown language they are signing document the chinese uh, um, government presented to them the document is not written in english it is written in chinese my people see what our lawmakers are doing to us it's so unbelievable how can they sign an agreement that means you don't even understand the terms and conditions in that agreement we'll go straight into the content and this will really shock you but before we do please um if you haven't yet subscribed to us do click on the subscribe button down below and also um hit on the like bell give us a thumbs up we really want to appreciate every one of you for supporting our channel you're simply the best so yeah let's just go straight into the content of the news nigerian officials signing loan documents in chinese language lawmaker claims a member of the house of representative mr ben ibakba has claimed that some nigerian officials sign loan document from china in chinese language mr ibakba sent this on thursday when he appeared on channels television's breakfast show sunrise daily claiming that the national assembly is not carried along when the country takes loan from china According to the member representing Ethiopia Federal Constituency, the National Assembly has been kept in the dark before now, adding that the lawmakers will, however, play a more active role when the country wants to take loan from China. The National Assembly is kept in the dark in all these loans. The National Assembly is not part of it, the lawmakers said. Even the Bureau for Public Procurement is not aware of these loans. These loans are collected via the China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation, CCECC. They bring a bill. The federal executive approves the bill. He claimed that from what we have seen from other countries, the Chinese loans are overpriced and these people are very corrupt. Speaking further, he said the present government, having campaigned with the anti-corruption mantra, should do better as corruption is foiled by awarding of contracts. Mr. Igbakpa claimed that some Nigerian officials do not critically look into loan documents before signing and said that some of these agreements that are signed, they come in Chinese language. While admitting that the National Assembly may not have done the right thing over the years, he added that whatever has been done in the past that is not correct needs to be corrected said that for the 2020 budget we are talking about over two trillion naira appropriated for debt servicing we appropriate and we don't know how this money is being spent that is why we have come for once let us look into what is happening since 2002. wow this is quite shocking it's really a, a shocking one Nine, uh, china will not stop uh, um, duping uh, um, our country but who do you blame now they say chinese they are very corrupt these people are very corrupt do you blame the chinese government or is our government right now they are uh, our lawmakers are signing loan agreements that are presented in, chi in in chinese language who does such a thing these people are lawmakers they are not laymen they are not unlearned if it's someone that didn't go to school, you would assume that, okay, they are not unlearned. They don't understand. They cannot differentiate between Chinese and English language. They are just saying, okay, sign here and they will go ahead to sign. But these are learned people. They are lawmakers for crying out loud. They are the ones um, carrying out this act. And this is not a hearsay. This is not rumor. It's a lawmaker who is um, giving out these facts that... Um, that they, they don't even uh, most of the law, lawmakers they don't critically look at the document they just go ahead and sign and he has stated something as well that even these loans are overpriced compared to other countries that the percentage they with the money we use in servicing this debt is uh, is quite outrageous but no proper negotiation they don't even know the terms and conditions of the loan they are signing they are just signing it on top nigerians head to make the condition worse for nigerians to make nigerians suffer 
more and more. What are these guys doing is truly unbelievable and it's sad. All they are there to do is enrich their pockets. Why can they not uh, um, look w critically into documents, analyze every clause on the, on the contract? They are just going ahead to, to sign. And also this lawmaker also made another claim that even the lawmakers themselves, they are not carried along with um, the, the loan. They don't know what is happening. It then means that is why they are just signing. So they don't even know what's going on. They just tell them, okay, come and print your signature here. Uh, we are taking this money from China. Why are we not going to continually be their slave? See the way they treated Nigerians in China, even during this COVID-19 um, um, pandemic that we're all battling. It's because they know that uh, we, we, we don't even read, we can't even understand um, how to sign agreements so they can do whatever they like to our citizens, see what our country they are turning us into. It's a shame. They are the ones giving Chinese government this, this rope. They are the ones giving them this access to behave like this because from the very top from from signing of loans and agreements we don't do things carefully critically so they feel they they can they can toss us here and there and toss us anyhow it's quite shameful and it's unbelievable what these lawmakers are doing these lawmakers now they are talking about um um um, corruption that um, this the the way um, the corruption is going around that Chinese government they are corrupt what are they talking about corruption therefore who is corrupt here is it not the lawmakers I know Chinese government their own is another level but we are the ones giving them the access to do that we are the ones giving them the the opportunity to do that can they try that with the United States China cannot try that with the United States bring a loan document for them to sign and they don't print it in English. They, they are we for crying out loud Nigeria is an English speaking country. We are not we are English we are colonized by the British um, government so we are English speaking country. Why would they bring a um, loan document printed out in Chinese language and we will still go ahead and and sign Nigerians. Let's weep for our country. See what President Mohammed Buhari has turned us into. See what he has made of us right now. What he said is that um, you won't believe the amount to. He said for the 2020 budget we are talking over two trillion <laughs> not billion no two trillion naira that has been appropriated to service loan just for servicing the loan so wh where is the money for infrastructure no wonder our healthcare system cannot rise because they've signed documents to to kill nigeria the other day article wrote um um a, a, a pub an article about um, buhari what buhari is doing that buhari has finished this country buhari eh, his plans he has ended this country and see what they are doing use two trillion naira to service loan if it's even good um, percentage but right now it this what this looks like is like this two trillion naira is even way over the roof it's just too much something that should not be just because these lawmakers did not do their job diligently they didn't look into this contract they don't even know for crying out loud they don't even know what they are signing you see you see what's going on in our country you see what's going on and they also talked about um, this chinese company how they are ripping us off as well through um contracts that are being awarded to them corruption everywhere we don't know who is bribing who or who is who is twisting or manipulating things but at the end of the day i keep saying at the end of the day is the nigerian man that is still suffering hardship is still is still rampant everywhere God will judge this, 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 our lawmakers, so, and this from President Mohammed Buhari down, all of them, because their hands are not clean as well. It's really a sad one, and it's shameful. This is so shameful that our lawmakers are signing documents presented to them in Chinese language. Ha! bad too bad my people it's it's it, it, wonders will never really end in our country we keep hearing different things every day see this one now coming out is quite unbelievable my people please i do want you to leave your take leave your comment on them um, what our lawmakers are doing let us know what you think drop us a comment down below in the comment section we want to take this time to say thank you once again to everyone that have subscribed please if you haven't yet subscribed click on the subscribe button down below and don't forget to give us a thumb up hit on the like button till i come your way again is bye for now and god bless